This is my old compost pile area, which I'm not really using. I scattered seed in here, mostly arugula. And I'll go in. Here's oregano all in here. And this, this whole area in here is uh, lemon balm. And this plant in here is comfrey. Really nice little jungle in here. There was a clothesline. Here's one of the clotheslines. I hang my clothes up to dry as much as I can. Over here is another current bush and it's loaded. This one really likes this. And back in here is more oregano. This is my big prized apple tree. And in the base of it is uh, parsnips. Here's parsnips. Uh, this one's about four foot tall, five foot tall. Flowering. Here's looking back down the path that I just walked. Here's rosemary that I propagated by cuttings. Actually bury some tips and then they root out. And here's uh, rocks and paths. This tree right here, there's one little uh, uh, tea, tea post, is a Chinese pear tree. And it's got some nice pears on it. It's, uh, it's freeze tolerant. In fact, you can see, you can see some of the pears. They kind of grow upright. There's some pears. There's another one. And then as you look up the tree, uh, you can see more pears. And then here's, here's another, uh, one of my favorite oregano patches. Right in here. And I've got apricots and peach trees everywhere in here. All different kinds of seeds. Different flavored fruits. If you have a really nice tasting fruit, Here's the reinforcement for the fence when we had that windstorm. And I did some reinforcing on it. These trees are probably 16 feet, 16, 16 to 18 feet, 20 feet maybe. And uh, I've grown this as a wall privacy fence. And they were loaded with apricots, just packed, but it froze. And when this place does get a crop, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be immense. And here's another wine sap apple tree that's doing really well. And there's a few apples on it. And the big mulberry tree. And it is big. It is really big. And here's another good sized peach tree right here. And an even bigger apricot. We got nice amount of shade in, in the garden here. And here you can see how I have been doing putting grass on the path as I do. And it's I don't have to work that hard, I just toss it back behind me, pull it out, and it composts. And I'm going through the gate here, past the trash can. And here's, uh, this is a juga. There's a little bit of bloom still there. This apricot's kind of in the shade, spindly, but it's got, it had some apricots on it. Hollyhocks, parsnips, some other plants I don't know, really nice ground cover, another, uh, apple tree. Here's a really nice pear tree right here. Forgot to show you the uh, raspberries. Here's one of the first apricot trees grown by seed that I put in to give you an idea of its size. It's really a healthy tree now and you can see the currents Lots of currants. 
This one's packed. Currents like sun. Tons of currents. Look at that. Solid underneath. Native plant in the Gila wilderness. Can withstand all kinds of freezing. And here's raspberries coming out to bloom. Putting out their seed heads. Evening primrose plant, that one that's right there. And this is the lilac that's it's already bloomed. It's taken about five years for it to bloom. All kinds of raspberries in here. And walking back towards the back door, got some nice rocks. Every rock here hand picked. Every rock hand collected, hand placed moved numerous times. I love landscaping. A living, living artwork. Emulation of nature. It's very satisfying. You can see the size of the mulberry tree. I'm looking at, thinking about having it pruned back about a third wind storms. Here is a, a wild plum that came from the Gila, town of Gila along the ditch. I stuck plum seeds in. I think wild is better. Wild is better. Well, surely I'm going to put this on a disc for you and uh, because this is going to be way over probably 200 megabytes maybe 250 megabytes but I'll see if I can reduce it and email it to you yeah look at this amazing huh amazing and let me show you what this place used to look like there's the next door neighbor's lot this is what my property used to look like. I didn't have internet. Didn't even know about internet when I got here. And they used to have lots of nice fruit trees here. And they didn't water. So. I took your advice, Shirley. I've... I did a, a walkie-talkie. This is walkie-talkie video. Yeah. Very pleasing. This is only the backyard. I haven't even shown you the front. I think I'll do that as another clip. Yep. Nice morning.